So starting April 27th, 2023, which is going to be a couple weeks away from the recording time of this video, we know that Rockstar is going to be implementing some dramatic changes in some vehicle prices, whether that's going to be increasing the value or decreasing the value in some of these vehicles. And in this video, what we're going to be looking at is every single one of these vehicles that's going to be either increased or decreased in value. And then maybe we're going to be talking about it because some some of these prices may alarm you guys all right so we're just gonna go ahead and start from the top of the list which i did place in the upper left hand corner which we're gonna be going over here so first things first is we have the armored boxville which originally it looks like the trade price for that is going to be uh two million well it's gonna be well over two million dollars and it looks like that is actually getting knocked down to 1.3 million dollars so that's going to be a decrease in value right there so the next vehicle that we're going to be going over is going to be the Akula, which it looks like that vehicle is over $3.7 million on the trade value, and they are knocking that thing up to $4.5 million. Boy, I'm glad I already have one of those modded in my hangar. So anyways, moving on, we have the Granger 300LX which originally is going to be for 1 point through well, over 1.3 million dollars and they're increasing that up to 2 million dollars and then we're not even talking about upgrades and customizations on the vehicles here ladies and gentlemen all right and then the next is going to be the scramjet which originally it looks like the trade value is going to be 3.4 million dollars and that is going up in value to 4 million dollars for the scramjet without any of the customizations and then we got the uh, Dubachi Champion, which I believe is an Anami tech vehicle. And that thing is uh, originally 2.9, well, over $2.9 million. Oh my God. And they are upping the value to the champion to over uh, $3,750,000. That's almost a million dollar increase. But just wait, you guys. We're going to be really getting into some stuff here in a second. All right, so the Chernabog, uh, that originally it looks like is, well, a little over $3 million, and it is actually getting uh, decreased down to 1.5, which, you know, that's a vehicle that came into the game like five years or six years ago or something. I'm pretty sure everybody owns one by now if they decided to have one. All right, you guys, so here's something we're going to be talking about here just for a second, the Deluxo. So the Deluxo, originally, for the trade price, I believe, is for over $4.7 million. And that is getting an increase to $5,750,000. So we're going to stop just for a minute. We're going to pause. So for those of you that know about glitches, there's a glitch that's called Frozen Money. So what do you do with Frozen Money? You fill up your garages full of Deluxos that even not even upgraded are worth $2.8 million dollars. So you're telling me Rockstar is going to increase the value for people that are basically doing frozen money? You guys, I have friends that have just accounts full of Deluxos and they are very excited to hear that Deluxos are going up in value because each time they sell one, they're probably going to be getting like, instead of 2.6 or whatever it is, the 2.8, maybe they'll be getting 3.6 million. So I can't believe that Rockstar has actually done this. Well, actually I can. I've been waiting for this for a while now. All right, but anyways, let's uh, let's keep moving on because the juicy stuff is really coming up here in a second. All right, you guys, so we have the Mammoth Thruster, the jetpack thing, stupid. It's worth like over $3.6 million, and it looks like it's actually getting decreased to $2.5 million. You never see anybody flying those things around. You know why? Because the jetpack sucks, okay? We all wanted the jetpack from San Andreas. We didn't get it. We got something else. I don't know what it was, but it's something. Oh, and it looks like I did skip one right here. So the Runer 2000, oh my God. Originally, the Runer 2000 is five point, over $5.7 million, and it's actually getting decreased a million dollars down to $3.75 uh, million right there. Okay, and then it was the Thruster. All right, you guys, and now we have the Tula, which is going to be, uh, oh my God, looks like five mil over five million dollars right there and they are actually decreasing the tula which is one of the more expensive vehicles in the game down to 4.1 million that's still super expensive rockstar but anyways 
All right, you guys, so we got the Stromberg. You know the Stromberg, right? All right, $3.1 million, and it is actually getting knocked down to 2.5. Well, the Stromberg sucks because now we have the Torador, and the Torador has, like, rocket boost in the water, so why the hell would I want the Stromberg anyways? Okay, you guys, so we're getting into it right now. This is, this is the deep water that we're diving into at this time. All right, so the Mark I oppressor. We have the Mark I oppressor. It is worth over $3.5 million, and it's actually getting decreased down to a little over $2.7 million. So that's a nice little change right there. But hold on. Wait a minute. Yep, this is going to be the most dramatic change probably in the game, which is going to be the Mark II oppressor, which originally is only worth $3.8 million, but they are bumping the Mark II oppressor up to $8 million dollars if you guys can believe that so wow and just to let you know too if you guys are wondering like well can i duplicate it and then sell the duplicated copy no because they put something in the game they implemented something into the game that doesn't allow you to do that which is why these days we always duplicate arena war vehicles like the issy because even if dude oh my god so you're telling me a whole garage full of mark ii oppressors fully upgraded is going to be worth over a hundred million dollars Probably, but anyway, so there you guys, let's uh, let's move on from that one and move on to the actual Torador itself, which original price is 3.6 million dollars, which they are upping the value of the Torador to over 4.2 million dollars. You guys, these prices are a bit insane how they're taking like the crappy vehicles and decreasing the value on those and taking all the good vehicles and upping the price on those, which is god. I'm glad that I own all these vehicles right here anyways. All right, guys, so moving on. We have the weaponized Ignis, which originally was going for three over $3.2 million. That thing is going up to $4.5 million for the weaponized Ignis. Oh, my God. That is a crazy amount of money that we're going to be looking at here. Now, last but not least is going to be the Bambushka, which sells for over $5.9 million dollars which they're actually knocking that down to 4.7 million dollars but you guys oh my god some of this stuff that they're doing i can't uh. so you're telling me you made you made the mark to oppressor eight million dollars which is exactly how much money a person would spend in u.s well okay so they would spend a hundred dollars in u.s dollars and they would get eight million which is going to be equal to a mark to oppressor oh my god i'm seeing exactly what's going on here you guys it's shark card uh frenzy week or or actually always here over at rockstar you guys you shouldn't have to buy shark cards when there's so many awesome ways that i show you how to make millions of dollars in the game without having to buy shark cards and spend your hard-earned birthday money or whatever christmas money or or maybe money from a job or money you got from your parents or something like that spend it on something good not shark cards but anyways from there yeah you guys this is pretty crazy changes that are going to be happening here once again on april 27th later on this uh you know in a couple weeks here in, in this month it's, it's when this is going to be happening and once again too i am glad that i own all these vehicles this is crazy that we're getting some of these dramatic vehicle changes and this is probably just the start of it so if this is just the start of it what else is going to be on the way potentially for this summer uh we don't know but i do know that custom license plates are going to be brand new coming back into the game here this next week on 420 so we're definitely looking forward to that so anyways from there guys let me know what your thoughts are on these vehicle prices down in the comment sections below what do you guys think about that mark to oppressor being eight million dollars is that insane or is that uh, not insane? Is it? I don't know. That's almost as much as a yacht on sale or something. Like, should I buy a yacht or should I buy a Mark II oppressor? I don't know. I can't buy any of them because they're all worth way too much money. But all right, guys. Yep. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are down in comment section. If you ended up enjoying the video, hit like button, subscribe for new content. And uh, yeah, my name is Graves, and I'm out of here. So peace. <laughs>